Hi, welcome. My goal through this channel is to make the common people aware of this beautiful creation called human body. And by knowing more about the different body parts and the details, they would be more responsible toward their health. So from the last video onwards, uh, the first body part that we were talking about is the eye. And in the last video, I talked about the structure, external structure of the eye. Now let us carry that knowledge forward. If you recall, in the last video, I mentioned uh, about the retina, which is the innermost layer of the eye. And the retina contains the light sensitive pigments. So the light from outside has to reach the retina in order to be sensed and in this video let us see how the light reaches the retina so when we look at some object the light from that object falls on our cornea so in my last video i talked about cornea cornea is the transparent layer and in this picture on the screen you can see this reflection uh, that you see of this eyelashes is um, on the cornea uh, behind which there is iris so this is the transparent layer through which you see inside so the light falls from the cornea it refracts there and it goes inside and uh, the light going inside would go in through the pupil this hole in the middle is called the pupil don't worry i'm going to explain it better uh, so this is the pupil so through the cornea through the pupil it will go in and hit the lens you must have heard about the lens inside the eye so let us dive a little deeper in the last video i talked about the second layer that is the uvea uh, so in front of the retina uh, behind the retina there is uvea and the continuation of the uvea forward this is the iris this part is called the iris and cornea is a transparent layer and when we look at a person's eye the color the brown eye the blue eye that we see is the color of the iris and the iris is similar to the uh, shutter of a camera so and the hole in uh, the middle of the iris that i have drawn here this is the pupil so the pupil lets the uh, controls the amount of light that is going in through the eye by changing its shape it can uh, decrease in shape and it can also increase in shape and you can see this easily if you sh shine a torch in another person's eye you can see the size of the pupil decreasing and uh, increasing uh, with Awning and offing the uh, torch, if that is a word. And while we shine torch in one eye, the pupil of the other eye will also react. So that is a reflex mechanism. Now you must have understood about the cornea, the iris, and the pupil. And from the pupil, the light goes in, and behind the pupil, there is the lens. So if you see, this uh, picture has been familiarized in the last video itself. You can see here uh, the front part is not that clear but this is the cornea. So you are looking from the side and this is the cornea. This, this thing. This is the cornea. And this, all, this is cut open and this is the iris. This part, this black part is the iris. And this light beam is going in, going in through the pupil and this part, this is the lens. And that is also cut open like this so it it will go through the pupil and it will uh, reach the lens you can see the lens also from the outside if you shine a torch you can see the lens from the outside and you must have heard about the disease called cataract and cataract is a disease that affects the lens of the eye and you can see here the lens is held in position by some fibers these are called the zonules and 
this zonules is in turn attached to this muscle muscular structure that is called the ciliary body so you have zonules and ciliary body and uh, just recapping this is the retina this is the uveal tissue you can see this red thing the uveal tissue you can see the uveal tissue continuing forward continuing forward continuing forward and becoming the ciliary body and in front there's the iris so this is uveal tissue consists of the iris the ciliary body and the uvea okay the choroid layer and the lens is held in place by this zonules that is attached to the ciliary body. Ciliary body is a muscle and with the changes in the ciliary body the zonule will apply pull on the lens and the lens anterior surface of the lens can also change shape. A younger lens can change shape in a better way and that also helps in focusing the light onto the retina and that also helps in our vision. So we have talked about the light coming from the cornea and reaching till the lens. So cornea, then you have the iris, pupil through which light comes into the lens. And if you see a human eye also, all these are not opposed on to each other. There is a little space in between the cornea and the iris and also the iris and the lens. And that space in between the cornea and the iris and iris and the lens is filled with the fluid and that is called aqueous humor. This is also very important too. It is filled with the fluid called aqueous humor. And uh, it is formed and also drained through the eye that we will see in a later video where we talk about glaucoma so we have talked about aqueous humor and so the light comes through the cornea aqueous humor iris pupil aqueous humor then lens and refracted through the lens it is focused on to the retina and the parts in the retina so in between the lens and this red retina there is another jelly like substance that is called the vitreous humor a jelly like substance so you um, you now know the basic anatomy the basic structure of the eye outside and inside cornea aqueous humor iris pupil again some aqueous humor uh, that is separated by the iris then the lens and then vitreous humor and then you reach the retina this is the very basic structure of the eye and when it reaches the retina so I've said it has light sensing elements and photochemical changes occur in these light sensing element that is the in the retina you have the light sensing elements that is the rods and cones rods and cones these are the name of the light sensing elements and photochemical reaction take place in this light sensitive elements and the light energy is changed into electrical energy or the nerve impulse and this nerve impulse is uh, carried through the optic nerve the cellular structure is the optic nerve to the brain to the sorry this is the brain and to the visual cortex of the brain and thus the light energy converted into nerve impulse is perceived in the brain and thus we know what we see I have explained in uh, a little detail about the basic structure of the eye because after knowing this only you would be able to know uh, the diseases uh, that affect the eye even the common ones. So thank you.